Hi friends, my name is Augustine Esiedu. The purpose of my videos is to introduce to SHS graduates or university applicants the right program to choose. When I say the right program, I mean the program that is in alignment with your talent, with your passion, and with the career you want to pursue. So today we are going to look at Kenya University School of Business. So the programs and the School of Business, Kenya University. That's what we are going to look at. We are going to look at their cutoff point and we are going to look at the qualified applicants. Those, those who qualify to um, apply for that program and those who qualify to be admitted. And then the cutoff point is um, if we sum up the best six subjects or the best six that we are going to depend on to admit you, it shouldn't exceed that number. All right. So today we are going to look at the programs. Cut off point, and then the qualified applicants. All right, so don't go anywhere, stay with me, and let's start. Um, looking at some of the programs. All right. All the programs are under uh, business administration, but it's up to you to select the, your area of specialization. So for instance, we have marketing, human resources management, accounting, banking and finance, uh, logistics and supply chain management, procurement management. So it's up to you to choose the program that you want to specialize and that's going to be your program. So today we are going to look at three. Today is part one of video of such content. So we are going to look at um, three um, programs and uh, school of business at KNUSD. So the first one is accounting. So your program is going to be Bachelor of Science Accounting by Standard Business Administration. All right, this program is actually going to prepare you with all the professional accountancy rules. Yeah, it's going to equip you with the skills, the accounting skills, and then all the necessary information that you need to know or how to uh, make accounting decisions. So. It's a very nice program that if you want to become an accountant or if you want to do any accounting um, duty or any accounting job in any organization that you want to work with, yeah, it's good that you apply for this program at KNUST. But they are expecting from grade 6 to 10. Yeah, this is the cutoff point. Please, if you don't fall, or if your grade or your basis does not fall in this range, it doesn't mean you can be um, admitted. For instance, if they want from grade 6 to um, grade 10, and then the school wants to admit 300 students, and only 200 people from 6 to 10 applied, 200. Now it's left with 100 more to be admitted. So they will come to those who have grade 12 and even grade 11, grade 12, grade 13. If uh, before they will reach 100, if it's going to reach 13 or even 14, they will admit to that place. So if you are having grade 12, 11, 12, 13, 14, I think if you apply, you are not wrong. But do well to get um, the grades that they are expecting because they don't care how you got it, all they care is that. The information presented is authentic. When I say authentic, it means that's what the WIEC gave you. Yeah. So don't be worried when it comes to the cutoff point. But learn hard. Yeah. So that's the cutoff point if you want to have um, a degree in accounting, first year, first degree in accounting. All right. The next one is banking and finance. This one focuses more on uh, banking operations and financial operations at the bank and all the financial institutions. It could be 
an insurance company, it could be any financial institution, whether the credit union you know, or commercial bank or what have you. And you can also work at the Ministry of Finance, provided you are having um, anybody there or you are affiliated to any political party because we are in Ghana. So you have to understand that. They are also expecting you to have the 6 to 10. And like I said earlier, if you have 11, 12, 13, don't be worried because the number of applicants they want to admit it is going to determine everything. So if they want, let's say, 400 students to be admitted and only 304 within grade 6 to um, 10, then they have to move to grade 11 and then grade 12. So if you get 11, 12, 13 going, you can still apply. All right, but work hard to get the right case so that you can be easily admitted. Now, the next one I want us to look at is uh, marketing. Yeah, maybe you are dreaming of becoming a marketing manager or marketing researcher or what have you. You can also uh, apply for a Bachelor of Science Business Administration and you specialize in marketing at University. But you will be at School of Business. I hope you understand. All right. This one too, you can get it. Yeah, from grade six to fourteen. Yeah, from grade six to fourteen. Yeah, I've extended. But you know, um, they are going to apply. They are going to admit students from this grade to this. So if you have like fifteen or sixteen, you can still apply for this program because. Um, it all depends on the number of people they want to admit. Now, let's go and look at the qualified applicants, those who qualified to be admitted in the various programs. First of all, we have SHS graduate. Yeah, or those who are about to complete SHS. Yeah, you can apply for, um, you can apply, but you are you, yours is a waiting form so you can apply but those who have completed the CHS too can apply but like i said just check off the cutoff point and then you apply get your maths your english and then you choose between your social and science yeah maths and english is compulsory please get it yeah then you choose between science and social and then you also check your elective subjects either in economics business management cost accounting principles of cost accounting, yeah, and then financial accounting, economics can also bring you here, elective ones can also bring you here. So, uh, we have our students who can apply for this program, we have business students, we have um, uh, home account students, yeah, home account students can also apply because some of them are doing economics and um, elective ones and do stuff. And then vocational students who can also apply and general science science students can also apply now the next people i want to talk about is major applicants yeah major applicants must have must be 25 years at the time of submitting the application form yeah, and they, uh, they have to pass um, their subjects, um, their five full level subjects with uh, English and business mathematics. With uh, English and business mathematics. So, get it. And let's move on to the next people who can apply for this program. Yeah, these people do can also apply. Those who take exams or those who have certificate of uh, general business certificate exams or um, advanced business certificate exams can also apply. Passing six, including English and business mathematics. Let's look at the next um, applicants. Those who can uh, apply for this program.
all right this set of people those with this certificate can also apply with their wasi or having credit in their wasi or ssc so get to know if you are having any of these certificates you have to have credit in your wasi results or ssc results let's look at the next people who can be admitted here All right, HND applicants can also um, apply for these programs and they must have at least second class division. Yeah, so they will also have um, entrance exams and interview, of which, if they pass, they can be admitted in level 200 or year 2 and level 300. So, depending on how well you perform at the entrance exams and then the certificate you are bringing, the class that you are, yeah. So the entrance exams and then the interview, if you want to be admitted in level 200 or year two, that depends on how well you can um, perform. All right, so friends, we are bringing this video to an end, but if you find this video useful, kindly subscribe and then click the notification button so that when we bring videos of such content, you will not miss it. And this is part one of School of Business. We are going to bring you part two in the next video and then part three. So if you want to perform or if you want to pursue any um, business program at KNOST, this is the right place for you. So if you also have any problem or any question, just go to the comment section and then let us know so that you will be updated and you know the right program at the university so that you don't go and apply for the program that you are not passionate about or you don't really want to have any career at that place. So we are bringing this video to an end and then thank you kindly subscribe.